Hi everyone! Welcome back to Mina Wonders. So today we're here with another episode of Let's Fight. And before you guys panic about social distancing and all of that, this is my friend Ostir. And Ostir has been staying with me and Kevin for the past almost two months. So it's not really an issue because we've been, three of us have been quarantined together for the past, yeah, five weeks or so. So our topic for today is which is the better genre, poetry or fiction? Mm -hmm. So, for everyone's information, Austere is my classmate in MFA, but before that, we met at BLTX, which is a zine expo. So, he makes comics, he writes um, small fiction, like short fiction, and he also writes poetry. So, hi, Austere! Hello! <laughs> okay, I feel awkward, but hello everyone, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Astir is going to be arguing for fiction, mm -hmm. and I will be arguing for poetry. Okay. You want to start? Why don't you start first? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll start. <laughs> okay, so for me, I feel like poetry is the better genre. And when I say better, I think what I mean is it's the genre that can express the most things, or can express the most things in a small medium mm -hmm. or in as little words as possible because <clears throat> with poetry we have something called the economy of words where if something can be said in x amount of words then you will try to say it in x amount of words and i feel like the big advantage that poetry has also is that it uses line cuts or enjambments mm -hmm. and i feel like with enjambments it's sort of like packing a suitcase where it allows you to fold meaning the way you would fold clothes so for example if you cut a line at a certain point it gives you a new meaning or points to a new meaning that fiction doesn't necessarily allow you to do Okay, so for example, if I, if I were to say something like, um, I used to be afraid of roller coasters and dying. If I say, I used to be afraid, line cut, of roller coasters and dying. So there's like yeah. two meanings. Yeah, two meanings. Or you're able to say more than one thing with the same sentence just by cutting it. So, yeah, so I think that that's one strength that poetry has. Um, but also, I feel like poetry is a little bit more fluid also because it can take so many forms. Yeah. So, for example, you can play with a sonnet and you can deconstruct the sonnet and there will still be a certain kind of tension from the sonnet form and from moving away from the sonnet form. Yeah, so I feel like with poetry, I think it's better in the sense of volume per unit volume per unit in terms of emotional impact and the different things that you can think about yeah so for example one line can contain a lot of things mm -hmm. yeah. mm, that's true but like i think that's also the magic of fiction what you're saying is um a line like a sentence that's beautiful can blossom yeah. into new sentences mm -hmm. and that like that whole paragraph where the first line is I, I was afraid of roller coasters and dying of, of roller coasters and dying that can you can transfigure it or tra or transform it uh in another way with fiction mm -hmm. like this is the starting point of mm -hmm. your statement, but mm -hmm. then when you expound on it, when you exhaust that idea of that line, mm -hmm. then you can arrive into a newer understanding without hiding from it. Because mm -hmm. I think that's what poetry does, which is, you know, it's also like a pro for poetry that there's like a a mystery to the what is what is what does this mean? <laughs> but, but yeah, um 
for fiction, um, I think you can hide things in fiction. Like, mm -hmm. of course, there are uh, techniques that you can have, but that you can employ, but um, it's more of an opening, like an opening that becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And let's go back to your first statement, mm -hmm. which was, <laughs> what, what did you say first? I wanted, I wanted to say something okay. about it. Um, I feel like poetry packs a bigger punch. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So that's my response uh, to that. that. Okay. And then the next one is that, like, line cuts, right? Uh, yeah. About okay. line cuts. Mm -hmm. Line cuts in fiction, I think, translates to paragraphs. Mm. Like this paragraph, we'll talk about this, and this paragraph, we'll talk about this. And I think the tension between the paragraphs create the same tension mm. with poetry. Mm. And you can have like different sizes of paragraphs. Like you have a long one that takes up the whole page, and then you have short ones that's only one line. And that's kind of how uh, fiction is evolving, mm -hmm. that it's taking things from poetry. Mm -hmm. yeah. And with fiction, I think, um, with the way it is, like it's a longer medium. It's a, <laughs> it's a longer medium, but the experience that like it packs more experience, not experience, but like the journey. Mm. Like there's more to it than the words. Yeah. Do you mean that it's like more immersive, I guess? Yes. Because yes. you build a world. You build things with words and mm -hmm. you can jump from any point of view. With, with poetry, I think we've agreed with mm -hmm. this, that poetry uh, fixates in a moment or fixates on a moment. Mm -hmm. But with uh, fiction it fixates on all of the moments so that it can be, it can use a flower, it can use a bird, it can use a worm, it can use a cat, it, it can use other characters mm -hmm. for this piece. I have a question about that. Mm -hmm. um, just the jumping point of view thing, mm -hmm. because uh, I think I tend to disagree about that part. In poetry, I think it's a lot easier to jump from I to he to she with having it seem like it's just part of the style or part of the technique. Like, for example, I was looking at, because in poetry, there's not as much pressure to maintain that grammatical syntax, oh, yeah, yeah. right? So, like, it's easier to say, um, I am a bird, she looking at mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. yeah. but in fiction, I feel like that's one of the limitations where there's more pressure to create something seemingly organic. Yeah, and people will like, like, what am I reading? I don't understand <laughs> anymore. And I like your style, it's stream of consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess. I guess, yeah, that is a limitation for fiction, but that means that there is, that you can break mm. that limitation. I think that's what fiction writers are afraid of, but want to go beyond. Mm -hmm. We have um, unreal unre un un unreliable narrators. Mm -hmm. We have... Um, we have experimental fiction, mm -hmm. but then uh, the um, the boundaries between fiction and poetry gets blurry yeah. in those types of work. So, which is what I like, what I like now. Mm -hmm. But um, 
in the past, fiction uh, is more of an art form and is better because you, I think we will fight on this, mm -hmm. that you have to structure it. Mm. <laughs> and that structure is more deliberate mm -hmm. than poetry because you have a sense of the beginning, a sense of the middle, mm -hmm. a sense of the ending. But with poetry, it's like you write a poem and then you can go back and change that poem. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of bones in poetry because you can exchange bones for bones. And, <laughs> and but with fiction, like you have stronger bones because mm. you drink all of the milk. I see. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, I understand what you're saying. But uh, my question is like, if we go back to that structure, mm. which is Freight Tag Experiment, right? right? The oh. beginning, the yeah, yeah, end, okay, the okay. climax, mm -hmm. and um, like the way that we usually think about the story mm -hmm. in terms of like, Aristotelian aesthetics and stuff mm. like that. Um, I think that that is also taken from poetry, right? Because in Aristotle's time, it was sort of one and the same. Like what we talk about now more broadly as literature mm. began as poetry, right? And the, all of the epics were written in verse. So I don't know, like for me, I feel like. Then why yeah. did fiction become more? popular than poetry if mm -hmm. it's like oh yeah I, it's like fiction is like the younger brother who's yeah. better oh. than I <laughs> know like who has more trophies no I don't know I'm just saying that I think there's a reason why right. people gravitate towards fiction, fiction. more mm -hmm. because fiction is easier and it's not as pretentious mm -hmm. and elitist as poetry because there is like a gatekeeping right. in poetry but oh no no you can't read poetry mm -hmm. you can't read it like that that's not how you read poetry poetry is supposed to be hard right, it's right. poetry is supposed to be like this and like mm -hmm. this and the and the words you use are uh, should be more poetic and it should have Meanings upon meanings, signifiers mm. within signifiers, blah blah blah. But with fiction, it is for the masses that it is. Uh, fiction can be anything it wants to be. Right. Like it can be, you know, a shitty romantic novel. But it's my shitty romantic novel. You know mm. what I mean? Like it's for everyone. And there are, of course, a classic fiction and then modern classic and like modern. Mm. And <laughs> sci-fi like you know there's a lot of fiction out there it's not bound mm -hmm. to uh, the limitations of poetry which is subject right i think poetry deals with life mm -hmm. in a way and then yeah more of philosophical nature of life but mm -hmm. with fiction the philosophical nature or philosophical ideas in fiction are more like you know you can talk uh, many like you can have more philosophical ideas in fiction. Right. But for poetry, you can you can just talk about one philosophical thing, or then it becomes like oh, this doesn't cohere. Mm -hmm. like, there's no coherence anymore within the piece. Mm -hmm. But with fiction, like you can talk about a lot of. But stuff. I have a question then. Um, if if like the merit of fiction lies in the fact that it's easier to understand. Why is it that all of the modernists were fictionists? Like Gertrude Stein's Tender Buttons, mm -hmm. James Joyce's Ulysses, mm -hmm. Unintelligible, yeah. right? <laughs> well, Foster. I haven't read it, so... <laughs> yeah, like Unintelligible, and mm -hmm. the structure Catch is... Catch 22. Yeah, and even postmodernists, yeah. most of them are fictionists, right? Yes. Like David Foster Wallace, um, The Infinite Jest, like, 
what is that about? Like, yeah. <laughs> no one knows what that is about. So, the age of wire and string by Ben. Yeah, Ben Marcus. Yeah. 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 So, I feel like, I feel like maybe on the surface or the way that fiction began, the way that fiction um, sort of behaves in the mass market mm-hmm. is probably, like the appeal of it, I think, is that it is accessible. Mm-hmm. And I think like, you're correct on that yeah. front. But then I also feel like... The others. Yeah. The, from the peripheral right. fiction. And I feel like um, a lot of the times, fiction will only present itself as accessible. But if you think about, let's say, Tumblr, do people write novels in Tumblr? People write poems, like mm-hmm. shitty poems, but poems. You know, I mean, like, yeah, shitty poems, but it's my shitty poems, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like um, a lot of people who begin, they don't, like, begin to write literature, they'll first try poetry, and then they'll hit that sort of um, block, mm-hmm. and then they'll go to fiction. Mm-hmm. Eventually, yeah. okay? Is that your experience? Yeah, when I was a kid, like, grade five, like... <laughs> Yeah, like I love mom, I love him. <laughs> and then My, later, ah, um, wait, wait, love him, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. I guess with the, it's the opposite. Not for you, for me, because okay. I started with fiction. I love fiction, and um, yeah, it started as fiction for me, and I didn't touch poetry until until um, everything. Mm-hmm. Until I um, I graduated college, well, like you know, like fifth year of college, I started reading poetry, and I was like, oh, I don't like this, I, because it's because I didn't understand it, and it mm-hmm. made my head hurt. Well, mm-hmm. fictionist, <laughs> <laughs> and, but but as I read more, and of course with the help of like MFA, mm-hmm. I. Well, you don't need MFA to understand poetry, yeah. but it helped me because I would, I didn't know where to start. Mm-hmm. So I think what fiction is doing now is looking back mm-hmm. at itself, at its origins. Right. But with poetry, I feel like it's too close to mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> okay, for me, I think um, I actually feel like it's sort of the opposite. Mm-hmm. Where I feel like now poetry, or in the past few years, poetry has really been taking steps to opening itself up, mm-hmm. like with spoken word mm-hmm. and even with chat box, with zines. Right? I think there are more poetry zines than mm-hmm. there are fiction zines. That's that is true. Okay. And when it comes to accessibility, like just talking about flash fiction, I feel like the counterpart of that is probably prose poetry, mm-hmm. where <laughs> prose poetry uh, sort of take, takes away the structure of the line cuts, mm-hmm. and it allows you to still be concise while also, you know, while still using figurative language, mm-hmm. talk about something, like problematize something. Yeah, but I think the main difference between flash fiction or flash fiction and prose poetry is what it emphasizes. I feel like with mm-hmm. flash fiction, it's still trying to tell a story. Yeah, or there's still like a narrative. Mm-hmm. But with prose poetry, you're still trying to get the metaphors or the metonymy, mm-hmm. whatever, like to work for you. Yeah. Maybe personal. Like why do you why do you identify, let's say, your short Flash fiction as flash fiction and not as prose poetry. Uh, because it doesn't need to be face read, or it doesn't mm-hmm. need to adhere to um, the to how we read poetry. Mm-hmm. So if you say that this is flash fiction, um, people will read it as flash fiction mm-hmm. and don't really just enjoy the way they read it, mm-hmm. the, the, the journey they had throughout of the sentence. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, this, uh, this paragraph meant something, this mm-hmm. paragraph meant something, this sentence um, is another sentence. Mm-hmm. But with flash fiction, uh, Everything, yeah, everything um, um, 
is like it talks to itself or, uh, or, or like it it's like this sentence is is because of this sentence because of this sentence mm. is because of this so like it's more causal yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's it's sort of like straightforward mm-hmm. 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 but then the concept or or the, the est- so like the the thing that flash fiction talks about the subject the subject mm-hmm. is complex like mm-hmm. all the all the things all the sentences are just sentences mm-hmm. but they are but they form like a bigger thought i see so it's sort of like in fiction the subject can be separate from the text like the subject is deduced from the whole Mm-hmm. Whereas in poetry, the subject is sort of embedded in, in the text. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about our stance now. Uh, like, let's not defend okay, okay, okay. anything so, yes, anymore. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, right now, mm-hmm. I'm into poetry. Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't want to defend fiction anymore. Sure. Okay. Okay, so. okay, what made you get into poetry coming from fiction? I think because I'm having more fun with poetry. <laughs> like fiction is a battle. Mm-hmm. But like poetry are just short skirmishes. Mm-hmm. But of course it, uh, it's so exhausting after you've written poetry. Mm-hmm. But you can write more and you can like abandon like a, a word a, mm-hmm. a finished work i mean you know like you can have this work and then move on to the next work mm-hmm. and that's exhilarating that's brand new for me yeah because fiction is like it takes me like three months or m- more to write a work mm-hmm. like one piece of fiction that's 3,000 words or 5,000 words, but it takes me a long, long time. Mm-hmm. But with fiction, uh, with poetry, it takes me, you know, two weeks, yeah, three weeks, mm-hmm. and that's like, wow, I'm more of a flash fictionist. Flash fiction <laughs> and, and flash fictionist and poetry. Mm-hmm. Like, those are my two chefs. Chefs, yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are like, ah. Oh. Do you think there's a difference in what you like to write and what you like to read? Where do you think? No. No? No. Like I, all of I think because I've read more work mm-hmm. from more people with, with different voices and different ways of writing and mm-hmm. experimenting. I was like, oh, I want to try this one and I want to try this one and I want to try this one. Mm-hmm. But with fiction, I'm so sorry, fiction. But it's <laughs> too for me now. Now in my like, what I I fear about fiction is that it's too set mm. on its way. But I but of course there are great fiction out there that pulls you in. But I think I don't have the Armaments, armaments, mm-hmm. armaments for, for fiction. <laughs> for fiction anymore. Like I cannot, for the life of me, build a bigger world. Right. Like I like flash fiction, and my God, you know, like naming characters <laughs> is, is 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 hard work, and typing is hard work. Yeah. So, and like many places, and I'm like, oh my God. So, <laughs> I think, and right now, for like my thesis, no, hi. <laughs> um, I'm writing like sort of an epic mm-hmm. poem that is like a novel in verse, which I was, um, which is influenced by Art Carson. So, and like, C.A. Conrad mm-hmm. and Ariana Reigns. Mm-hmm. So those are my, like, my, uh, yeah, 
to like literary gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. influences right now. And I'm happier doing that novel in verse that, oh yeah, there is like a marriage between fiction and poetry. Mm -hmm. I can play with the elements of fiction and then I can play with the elements of poetry that yeah. that's like a perfect play mm -hmm. what about you what, are, what, what is your yeah, so I think it's pretty much the same for mm -hmm. me where you started with fiction and now I've sort of fallen in love with poetry and I think I was just in denial for a long time mm -hmm. because I also used to write like small, I used to call it tiny fiction, mm -hmm. where it was sort of patterned after Lydia Davis's model, I think, mm -hmm. where it's like short fiction, but then it uses, like it fixates on a moment, uses certain tropes. And when we took up poetry in MFA, I feel like that was really eye-opening for me. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, like, wow, like, it can do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that, like, going back to our discussion earlier, a big part of my hesitation with labeling my work as poetry was also because I didn't want it to be opened up to that scrutiny. You know, like I didn't mm. want people to judge it like that because there's this sort of thing where it's like, if you're a poet, like then you have to be good. But, but I mean, now it's like, I feel better about that. And I feel like, I don't really good. No, like I'm okay. I'm okay with failing. She's good. I'm okay with I'm okay with failing now. I feel like even if people would judge my poetry, I'm okay. No, come for me, bitch. It's Japan. Atulina on this. Come for her. No, no, but yeah. And I think the thing that I like with poetry uh -huh. or the thing that I find exhilarating mm -hmm. about poetry is it's like a game. Mm. Yeah, like every poem is like a game and you're making up the rules as you go along and then it's like seeing if you can succeed, like you can win your own game. Versus me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in short, on this episode of Let's Fight, we both win. <laughs> we right, win! Yeah, or I don't think that there is such a thing as like the better. Yeah, no. Yeah, like both of them have their own sets of rules, yeah. logic. And they have their own sets of pros and cons. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're good. They're good. They're good. Okay, so that's it. Um, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. You can find us here at Oyster. A-U-Y-S-T-E-R -E at Oyster on Instagram. Thank you. Just follow my Instagram. I post <laughs> comics like little videos of like Relatable content, stuff like that. So, yeah, thank you. Bye.